Welcome to Non-Fungible Guys. <laughs> Here we are. Happy Thanksgiving. Or happy yeah. U.S. Thanksgiving. Yeah, American Thanksgiving for our American listeners, which actually when we looked at the spread, uh, we have some listeners in Russia and Germany. Like What's hilarious is when you say spread, I think of like Thanksgiving dinner spread at someone's house. <laughs> Look at that, nice. eh? Drop that beat. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> cool. That's perfect. Oh, man. Okay, anyways. Um, how are you? How's the, how's the, va- the vacation slash work? Yeah, the, the work. You know what? I've realized that every time I travel, it is 99.99% of the time related to some project that I'm working on. And if I extend it a couple more days, that's basically the, how I take my vacation. So I basically just vacation wherever I have to work, which is why I'm in Wyoming. Yeah, it's fun. I, I don't think I would normally choose to come to this portion of. Our <laughs> I was gonna say I've never, uh, I've never had a desire. I don't even know where Wyoming. Is. I could throw a dart at the map, and it could be like, <laughs> maybe that's Wyoming. I, it's underneath I Alberta and Saskatchewan area, and it basically huh. it looks like that. Like, well, no, sorry, Montana is directly underneath Alberta, and then underneath Montana will be Colorado and Wyoming, and that's where. Sorry, yeah, because then that's where I am. Big hunting so. then. Big hunting. Yeah, like yeah, big big sky country hunting, rolling mountains, and I'm near Bighorn Mountains or the Tetons, and it's Great. really pretty, really really pretty actually. Clearly, you have an internet connection. That's so you're not in the middle of the sticks. If there's no internet connection, I don't. I'm not going to wherever you're, the request is. <laughs> you ruined my segue. I was going to. Oh ask my you, bad. <laughs> you, you got you got internet connection, and, and you're not in the sticks. So what did you get up to this week? Just step. I love stepped that. all over my segue. <laughs> Okay. This guy, can we do this? Uh, you know what? It has to stay in. We know the rules. No, it has to stay in. We don't. We don't edit unless okay, my kids so come down here and I scream. That's at them. true. That's true. But <laughs> then we got to edit that out. You know, I'm a great. I'm a great dad. I'm, I don't yell. Yeah, yeah. You're my a great voice. Dad. Okay, so if you're listening to this podcast for the first time, it's about cryptos and NFTs. NFTs standing for non fungible tokens and right now, Dao's whatever. Dao's yeah. Dao's 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 Nasdaq. Not yeah. the Nasdaq. <laughs> And we have to, is it preface, preface, yeah. preface? Yeah. This is NFA. And if you don't know what NFA is, not financial advice. We are, nice. I'm a dumb dumb that just <laughs> doesn't know nothing. So you take financial advice from me, then we both got problems. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Not financial advice. Because how, anyway, so what did, what did I get up to this week? Um, Other than your in real life work. Right. Crypto Good world, point. what'd you do? Crypto world. Okay, so last time, if you listened to episode 12, and this is episode 13. Yeah, you look, Good, look at you. Yeah, we're doing we this. Made, we made it. <laughs> <We're doing laughs> wag me. In. You want to keep doing this? Yeah. Wag me. Wag me. Um, what does wag me stand for? We all go make it. Nice. I thought it was, I, I literally, when I saw that, I was like, what is this? I literally thought beef because of Wagyu beef, beef, but anyway. That's, yeah, I could see that. But it's Let's, we all going to make it. Also, because so many of the discords, people talk about food and the meals. So I literally did think it was beef or, you know, expensive. Yeah. yeah. Anyways, okay. Have, forgot. have you been busy on Discord this past couple of weeks? Uh, <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> that's awesome. Okay. The answer Anyways. is no. <laughs> I, you know what? No, you know what? Just no. What did I get up too to much week? going on? Leave it to right. me. I'll 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 do, I'll do the social media managing. Okay, cool. I appreciate that. So, last week when we talked to Joe from the Properties NFT Project, it was a great episode. I really liked it. We had a good, a lot of fun. Laughed our asses off. You should listen to it. Um, but there were some promises that <laughs> were made. I think I said that I would be buying Sparkpoint, a Mana, um, a whole bunch of other stuff. So this week, or since that episode. I did actually, I do, I kind of do like dollar cost averaging with like my basic crypto holdings and meaning like, you don't know the best time to buy crypto, you know, highs, the lows, whatever. So each week I'm just putting in pretty much a fixed set of money that I distribute across the assets that I'm holding. Uh, even though I call them, I just don't call them assets against the cryptocurrencies I'm invested in. Yeah. So I mean, at the end of the day, they, they ebb and flow. It's like they're up 5%. They go down three yeah. percent, like so. It's like, yeah, you, you can't time. I mean, I guess some people can, but yeah, I'm not looking at candlesticks and stuff like that. Like, I'm not. No, you're not charting. That That's stuff. like day trading or like forex trading. Yeah, exactly. M- Mr. Burns used to get. He was heavy into that for a bit. 
Oh yeah, you're right. He totally yeah. was. He can um, he can read a chart. He's pretty good at it. Yeah, I, I have no doubt that he would that he would be. But he's hey, like, he's not on this episode, so let's keep talking. That's true. That's true. <laughs> talk, shit, talk shit about him. Okay, realistically, so um, every time like Bitcoin, I definitely believe in it. I know like people are like, well, there's no utility. No, it's it's our crypto gold. It's the first one. Um, I definitely bought Bitcoin. I bought Ethereum, and despite the lack of rising, I I bought XRP again, Ripple. Um, really? I think they're going to beat that SEC case, and Ripple's not, Ripple's value has not gone up at all. It's nothing's like it's, everything seems to be all the altcoins are kind of not even altcoins, but the lower t- like yeah, just stagnant. Like 100%. Cardano, I think under two bucks now. Last I yes, it is because I bought Cardano and it was two seventeen when I bought it, and, then and it dropped. No, no, no. That's that was the, that's pretty low lately. Oh, it's um, two fourteen currently as of this recording right now. As of this recording, everything's oh. up. Actually, everything's up about two percent as of us talking. Well, so these these. Oh, I made my, I made these purchases about thirty hours ago. So that oh, like th- on Cardano, I lost that three cents. Ethereum's up to fifty seven hundred Canadian a coin. So it's up three hundred. Yeah. Bu- it's up three hundred bucks, six percent since. Let's see, since November twenty fourth. Yesterday, yesterday at five forty-five, it's up three hundred bucks. So there you go. Yeah, that's how well, quick, and that's 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 quick, right? Like it, is, it could be it down four hundred to by midnight. So exactly. I, so I do you think what do you think is going to happen? So you know, I'll just go through the list and then we'll talk about whatever. So I bought, I bought, actually no, you know, you what do you think is going to happen? List. Yeah, I know. There's more actually. So you yeah. might as well actually talk about it. So what do you think is going to happen did. with the, with Ethereum? towards ethereum and bitcoin towards the end of the year i think they're both going to continue to climb up again it's going to be dips and valleys but they're going to go up oh yeah. like year was it year to date they're going to be up yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I, think so. I don't think th- i don't see them dropping the problem with ethereum in our eyes or our world is buying the nft aspect with gas yeah. fees that's gonna for holders of ethereum it's going to be great because it's going to keep going up because you're investing in the crypto. If yeah. you're in the Ethereum world, like we want to be with NFTs and the crypto, yeah. it's not a it's not a good thing for us because it is the I don't know. Just the whole blockchain is just so busy and gas fees. Yeah, hundred percent. So and here's- I think Ethereum. If you invest in crypto, just in the Ethereum and Bitcoin, I I, I would have to say you're going to be. I don't see it dropping by the end of the year. We're only talking six weeks. Right. Good like point. I don't see, I don't see it dropping huge, but first quarter next year, it might drop a bit. Yeah. Could, could fall 10%. Could go. Listen, I don't know nothing. I'm just spitballing. As well, well no, let's but. think what, what you're, I know, I know we know, like no one should ever like always do your own research. Right. Yeah, but, yeah of course. But what you just said though, I agree because right now, and I think we talked about this when we were talking casually, yesterday there's like a fall off in the nft i mean there's like exhaustion there's minting exhaustion there's getting the drop exhaustion people have been spending money and getting excited hoping things was going to happen and you know most people are pretty like you know butter i was going to say butterfingers but no paper hands paper so hands. they are like they're pulling think, out selling things like i think that's so there's this low i think december I, already, I feel like we're already in it and december is mm-hmm. going to pick up and then it's january is going down Oh yeah, okay. Like November has been kind of a lull. I think November has yeah. been a bad for again for Ethereum NFT base. November has been bad. A lot of projects had to, didn't sell out. Yeah. Um, I could name a couple, but I'm not going to. Um, not that we're in them, but I just know of them not selling out. They even yeah. lowered the mint prices, be, all because of gas fees. So I think. Well, se- do you think it's but that gas fees makes that basic NFT fee uh, fatigue? Because most of the NFTs yeah. are on Ethereum. Yeah, so people are just saying. like, yeah. Why? Like, I went to Mint. I'm not even joking in the least bit. I went to Mint. So I've been hanging out with my buddy Boy Scout. Yeah. On, uh, Shout out to Boy Scout. So, Shout out to Boy Scout. And I like, I like Boy Scout, Scout's ideas, solid ideas. Yeah. We're going to, we still have to discuss them, but po op contests and stuff like that. He's, he's a, just a, he just churn out the mission. <laughs> he's like a machine, yeah. man. Just nice idea nice. machine. But, so we go on these poham, poump, poaps <laughs> like hunt hunts in a sense. It's like, hey, what is poap? Poaps the proof of protocol. No, proof, proof of attendance protocol. So basically, it's like a badge to say. For example, what we're doing is we'll go to this uh, DJ's 
album release. They have an hour long par party in the metaverse and for attending, you get a PO app. So I could go back and be like, Oh shoot. I remember that day. We kind of went, I went with boy scout. We went and listened to this album for 20 minutes and got the PO app. And the um, PO app is an NFT. That's like a, a collector's badge saying you were there. Yeah. It's basically like going to a conference and you collecting whatever, um, what do they give out those like badges? Swag. That, like, like, yeah, swag or like the, it, it's got the, Oh, lanyard put it, lanyard yes yeah yeah it's but like here's that. the thing like and but like you can only get that if you were there physically and like, usually it's like within a 12 hour or 24 hour window you're allowed yeah. to mint it and i think poap is on x die which yeah, is, is ethereum's like side channel or side chain or a fork yeah i, I don't know the actual no it's term, a side chain it's, a side it's chain. on it's on ethereum's network but it's a side chain of ethereum so yeah. to get it onto main so you could get your poap and then sell it, uh, or sorry, mint it on the main net of for Ethereum, and then sell it as an NFT. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it's just in your NFT wallet, and it's just yeah. a collectible that you can show off, have your app, and show everything. Um, so I the totally, only so I totally forget where I was going with the story. What was the question? Um, we were talking about you talking with hanging out with Boy Scout and you guys going on these NF these pull app hunters hunts. Yeah, but what was my point to it? Oh, well, we were talking about NFTs in general being like us. The kind gas of like, fees. Oh, that's what it was. So yeah. I went to Grifter. He's on Twitter. He's a DJ at Grifter, I believe. Yeah. Um, I went and watched. We, we were watching and listening to his album. And he dropped uh, uh, his album, like a standard, just whatever. It was zero, it, free mint. All you had to do was pay the gas fees. I went to, it was $0. Could you take a guess at what the gas fees would have cost me? How long ago was this? A week ago? Three days ago? Four oh, days three ago? Three days ago? It was this week. Okay. Well, then your gas fees to mint that album on the Ethereum main net would have been like, what were we looking at? 600 bucks. A little less. It was 400. 500. 400. Was okay. Four, 400 <clears throat> in, ga in gas fees. I was like, man, this guy's giving away a free album. Yeah. A free and NFT I'm, digital I'm album. Just, yeah. And I'm just going to throw away. F I, didn't, I didn't get it because I didn't really, I, I'm saving my ethereum for properties but yeah but like four hundred dollars for a free album i was like man that like he could email it to like hey sign up here's my email <laughs> this and send it to his fans that way because yeah. at the end of the day him selling that mint for free he's not getting any money the gas fees go to the miners right like the people doing the transactions he's not yeah. making any money so yeah. it's like you come in you're kind of that's that whole lag is like well, why would you even why would i mint this yeah like he's no, not gaining sure. from it. He's no, putting his, sure. na his name's getting out there and stuff, but like, I'm not just going to throw away 400 Canadian dollars no, for I an it. album I that it. I could be like, Hey, who's got this? Let me hear it. So that, that thought right there is why the NFTs are a bit stale. I think there's, that's why they're a bit stale right now. A hundred percent. There's an NFT. Yeah. Go, go ahead. ahead. No, 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 go ahead. I was going to say, and I think I mentioned this somewhere, like NFTs are tied to, to the dollar more so than other things like you get you get one eth or whatever and it moves up and down and you're like cool it's going up but like yeah. when you're buying an nft like they set the price and that price is 0 0.06 ETH, ethereum or whatever right and like that's the price they set but the longer it takes knowing that ethereum is, is continuing to climb means that over time it just costs more and more money to mint that so right. like they're, they're just it's interesting you have these nfts are our tokens on the blockchain ethereum is a crypto currency on the blockchain but there's two different ways that people are interacting with what they're doing when they buy yeah. cryptocurrency you're like whatever i'll buy a fraction of the ethereum whatever it goes up it goes down but with this nft you have to buy the thing at that price and it so it can cost more if the, if the currency is going up and it i think that nfts are going to cool down and I really think that people are going to start realizing there's a that barrier to entry is getting higher and higher and higher. Like we're or, looking to mint certain gonna, things. Yeah, but or they're going to search for alternative blockchains. That exactly. A hundred percent. And of course, that's what's happening. Where, where would you go? <laughs> I'm not going to say it. <laughs> I'm going to say where I'd go. go I have ahead. no shame. I go to Cardano. Yep. Right. Go to Cardano. But there's other ones now. There's Polka. There's Solana. There's Solana. Yeah. There's Terra. There, there, like, there's Solana, a bunch yeah. out there now. But here's the thing. So let's say you're um, 
let's say you there's and there, here's the thing about these nfts there's a lot of different ways that people are making these pro projects there's like you and i we could just be like hey let's make a coin nfg token and nfg token make some nfts and boom we've done it just two guys or you could be a huge company trying to do this like nike is giving you an nft with sneakers right now or taco bell dropped a whole, like 31 nfts on i think it was rareable yeah mcdonald's and, yeah and it's like but they're like eating those gases they don't care because that price of that token is that nft is so expensive but like a company that needs to mint nfts consistently with every product where are they going to go are they going to go on ethereum they want to go there because that's where the people are but they might have to say well we're not on ethereum mainnet we're on a side chain of ethereum where we can control the mint fees or they might want to abandon ethereum altogether but i don't think they're, they're going to the abandon it no they might want well that's the thing i think so a lot the of there a lot of these projects even that we're involved in are debating flopping over to x die or mutable x or the side chains to get away from yeah. because they want to keep the customer happy in a sense at the end of the day and but here's the thing do you think the customer really knows where it is no the customers like it, know it nothing <laughs> so so, so that, and that's why so i'm like why don't more people and that's why I don't like everyone's staying on Ethereum and building these side chains or working on the side chains because they, they want to be like, we're on the Ethereum network, but it's like, you can mint elsewhere on all these other blockchains and it's going to be just but, as good, but they're afraid, yeah. right? It, it's not that, I don't think it's that they're afraid necessarily. I think it's the average Joe and Jill. I don't know if that's a phrase, but I'll make it up. Sure. They're now entering that this NFT crypto world. And it's like, hey, what's the popular? Like, nobody wants to do their own research. And it's like, everyone yeah. hears a big one. Yeah, totally right. They yeah. buy into it. And then they get to an Ethereum project. And then that it's just, it's the cool place to be right now. You yeah. can learn as you go. Like, that's a lot of people are like, oh, I aped into this project. And aping into something is literally, you don't know anything about it. It's like, oh, someone told me to buy this coin. So I bought the coin. I didn't do without, any research. without doing any research. I, I aped into it. So a lot of people are doing that. And now that it's becoming more and more mainstream, like there's a lot of like new newbies coming in, but like, what's an NFT? What's the, you'll see it in yeah. some of the chats and stuff, even on Twitter. So I, I think that's why Ethereum, that's why the people that were in Ethereum and all this stuff real early are like filthy rich. Mm. And now I think come next year, it's going to be a lot of the people that, not that not not poor people, but people that don't have a lot of like disposable cash entering in to try. It's because now it's going to start looking like it might fal falter the, the the world, but it it's like uh, Ralph Cramden, like the get get rich scheme. Oh, if I just mm. buy this, I'll get rich. Or if I buy this, like you know the board apes or whatever. Yeah, right? Like yeah. if I if I hit one of those, I'm going to get rich. But so, what's the new person that's coming in going to do? You were saying like. The new people well, that come in when they see that you, barrier to entry, what do they do? You made me think. So, in the terms of crypto, the big argument I've when trying to dis describe it or explain it to at least one of our friends, you'll he knows who he is. He'll never listen, anyways. But um, he always says is that crypto isn't backed by anything. Like money is backed by gold. Like that's all everyone's argument is money is backed by gold and silver and this and mit. what would your ex explanation be to someone that's like? arguing with you about how stupid crypto is crypto so dumb like it's oh, not backed the, by anything the it's argument that up. the argument you know I mean? against it not being backed by anything like um, yeah like yeah I don't for someone that's... that's arguing is like oh well i'm not gonna do why would i put my money there it's like it's just made up and it's just like a hype hype thing and it's not backed by anything it's not it's like yeah, yeah no, do you no. not read like there's so much out there yeah the argument is that that when you think about where your money the fiat currency What's that backed by? There's no gold standard anymore. Um, That's what the I mean. It's all pay it's, they just keep printing it. That's what I'm saying. Like the saying that well, one our one friend and he's like, oh, no, it doesn't matter. That's like yeah. yeah so I mean, you put an arbitrary value on a piece of paper that has a ten on it. It's not yeah. backed by anything anymore. They just keep if they start running out of that. They just keep printing more. You know what I mean? I know it's such no, a I know. layman's like ex explanation. No, no, it's it, not. But, it's not. It's 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 basic, but it's just that. When you're when we're talking about this, if people can't necessarily tangibly see that see it or understand it, and it's not necess and they're getting conflicting information, plus they don't necessarily recognize the utility because they're looking at what they do and they're like, "What makes this better? Why do I? Why would I do this?" People are probably just following some sort of a hype train. So 
if someone's being skeptical about it and about its capability and of course its longevity, let them be skeptics. They have to understand it a lot more and you're not oh, going to yeah. be able to impart that in, in, in like yeah. five minutes. But, but back to the, I kind of think about what we were saying before is that I think that there's really, if you're in Ethereum and you've got a ton of, a ton of value because, you know, it's gone up and it's the first this the first version two crypto with all the utility and whatnot. Mm-hmm. Your incentive is to just find solutions to have people stay in Ethereum. Your incentive isn't to have people go to Solano or Cardano or other chains that can move. Solano is like this fast. In theoretically, Solano Solano has the capability to be like infinitely fast and minimal gas fees. So like imagine people weren't on the Ethereum like hype train where they're like this is where everyone is, so we don't want to leave. Imagine people weren't there, they would be able to look objectively at the other blockchains and think this makes way more sense. Like mm-hmm. we're on of Cardano course. for so many, we are literally proof of the barrier to entry. Like we want to, but like, how much of a, uh, 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 how much of a, I guess, hurdle was it to learn how to use card? That's the big problem too, with jumping, why everyone jumps into Ethereum. Yeah, it's I know. Very easily digestible. It's like I sign up for just say MetaMask. Yeah. I sign up, I get a MetaMask account, and then I have an Ethereum address. I can go to OpenSea, connect the yeah, two. But expand you buy, that you to buy everything. NFT. Expand that to entire crypto in general. Even the most simple thing, like how many times have look at us, we walked our friends through buying Shiba on Shiba Inu do, on, cryptocurrency yeah. on Wealth Simple, which yeah. you and I are like, we're never doing this. But it's like yeah. the easiest thing. It's like the Apple way of buying it. And we yeah. still have to we still have to tell them what, what to do. And you literally could just open wealth simple, hit buy, and that's it. It's, there's literally yeah. nothing. Yeah. And so the barriers are everywhere. And I think we, you really, if you're in the crypto space, you really got to just sit and be here for the long haul. I'm not talking like five years. I'm talking like I'm in my mid thirties. I'm talking, I'm here for the next 30, 40 years. That's what I'm talking about. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, I think it's, we're all here for, I mean, yeah. I plan on being in it. And like going back to like, okay. So you asked me what I did this week. I bought yeah. Bitcoin. I bought Ethereum, which I which I do pretty much every week or every two weeks. And yeah. Bitcoin, I'm holding. Um, I also bought some more Solana, uh, just because it went. Up. It actually went down a little bit, but I think that we we started looking at Solana from the NFT side of things, being like, yeah, we hate the projects. They're all copycats. The ecosystem it's isn't the, good. <laughs> the rug pull blockchain, but anyway, yeah, hundred percent. But the currency and how fast it is and what it can do, I think it's actually here to stay. It's one of the, it's one of the most popular ones. So I bought some Solana. I bought XRP because I'm just like, I am actually fairly, I have a lot in XRP. And I'm like, if it stays alive, then this will be great. I bought ADA, Cardano. And on the podcast last, I also, last week I said I would buy some AXS, which is Axie Infinity. So I bought some of that, even, even though I don't play the game at all. But yeah, but can you? It's you can use so it's an in game currency, but you can in-game buy currency, it, but you, you can, can buy, buy it, it anywhere. But and you can use it yeah. as like you're buying Bitcoin, like you yeah, can you, buy can, you can buy you it. Ever, you don't ever, ever have to play the game. No, you don't have to play the and you know, that's a good distinction. Let's talk about that. Yeah, so actually, the next one, I'm, the next coins, the next cryptocurrencies that I bought are all pretty much because I bought Sand AXX, a, AXS, and I bought Mana. Mana. So sand, <laughs> sand is and mana. Sandbox. Yeah, it, yeah. Those are metaverse coins. Yeah, metaverse. So metaverse those will be so mana's which decentraland. Uh, decentraland. Yeah. So yeah. decentraland and sandbox for anyone that's just kind of tuning in and doesn't know, they're the metaverses where you can you know have your avatar and run around to like an open world concept. Like your DJ thing that was in decentraland. That was in decentraland. And that's so, Dentri- decentraland looks really good. Like your avatar looks like your Nintendo Wii per- like character or whatever, and you're like walking around and like yeah doing it's, shit. It looks it's, good. It's fun. Like that's why I do the things with Boy Scout because like some of them you got to go do like oh jump from platform to platform to get this key card, and then you got to unlock the the door to the poll app room with the key card. So it's like it's not like you're just going to some DJ party and collecting a poll app. Like one of the, one of the things in when I went to go do it was uh, they were doing a toga party and mm. you had to collect two separate poll apps, but the one poll app gave you a toga outfit for your avatar. So right. now my character's running around in a toga outfit, but here's and the thing because, 
because I'm in it, I can hit inventory while I'm in the in Decentraland and like yeah. use the mana that if I yeah. had it connected to my wallet to yeah. upgrade my avatar and I could put headphones on, I could have floating right. out outfits on. Like you could do a bunch of stuff in Decentraland with the cryptocurrency mana. Mm-hmm. But so that's where the, the link is. So for me, I don't I'm not even I'm not even in Decentraland. I'm not walking around the metaverse, no, but just, I can still buy it on the exchange that I use. And exactly. I can never go into it and just watch it. Cause as more, more and more people are loving yep. the metaverse and going into it. Have you seen Decentraland, what it started off at early this year? You know, no, what it was in the sense, right? Decentraland was like, like a dollar something. Would you buy that? Or you don't now, have to say what's no, yeah, right now. You I, I should, yeah, I should pull it up. I, um, I meant to pull so it up. I totally what I'll say is, so that's the thing. That's the distinct, like the distinguishing thing with crypto and like NFT world and all that is you don't even have to participate in the metaverse. Like for people that are like, ah, forget that. I like money. I like making money, but I don't have time to be playing, playing around on the computers and running around metaverses. You can still buy these, these crypto yeah. tokens. You can still buy mana, sandbox, t- um, Terra's got their own Luna. Terra. Lu- yeah, Luna. Luna has their that's their coin. So you don't have to participate, but you can still make money by buying, putting money into the ecosystem without actually being in the system. So essentially, I'm, I'm my purchase of okay, I'll, I'll tell you what the price was, and I, I just I'm glad I checked because I was right, but I wanted to make sure. So in January of 2021, Mana Decentraland Mana was 10 cents, and right now it's yeah. the live price of as of right now Thanksgiving uh, 2021, it's 650. And wow. that that rise, like let's look at the price here. It was ninety six. It ahead. jumped because of Meta Facebook. I know. It's, so that's, that's exactly what I'm saying. Like, let's pause on this for a second. At the end of October, of August, August twenty seventh, it was ninety nine cents. Between yeah. August and now November, it's gone up from ninety nine cents to six fifty. And in the last, when Facebook announced and changed their name to Meta, and everyone's like, "What's the metaverse?" The Decentraland token skyrocketed to it 650. Jumps, but here's the huge. thing. So I bought a bunch of uh, mana. Yeah. And like whether I play the game or not, if everyone starts talking about the metaverse next year and Decentraland's mana goes up to like, I don't know, 10, 15, 20 bucks. Yeah. Like I bought it at six or I, I'm, I'm thinking, imagine Decentraland exists for 10 years. Yeah, What's it going to be valued at when mana now, one mana costs like, I don't know, 20,000 bucks. And I bought oh, it at that's six, the thing. Right? They're so, gonna you're gonna use that stuff to upgrade buildings. Like I, I, as far as I know, it's like you got to use mana. So you say you have a plot of land in Decentraland. Yeah. It's not a game necessarily. I know people. Yeah. You called it a game. You, you did, I, did I actually call it a game? Yeah. yeah. My bad. I didn't. No, it's a metaverse. No, I, I didn't even. Would you say? I, I, would you say metaverses are games? I don't even know. No, it's no. It, it, it's it's, open a, world. I, it's not a game. It's not a game. It's a metaverse. metaverse. I'd say. Uh, you could think of it like that because open world think concept. about like you know your your arenas in like Call of Duty or whatever, yeah, but like no, it's not, not like some game. of the concepts are there, but it's not I wouldn't but say Ax- it is, but Axie Infinity is a play is actually game. is yeah, actually, that's actually a game, a game but you game. can buy the crypt. So yeah, no, but what I was saying is if you had a plot of land in these metaverses, you have to use their in in-house currency in, yeah in-game say. currency. That's yeah, that's what I was gonna I, say. In metaverse um, currency. In metaverse currency to say build your house up maybe you get the first maybe you get the first level free and then to like build the second floor like that's what we're getting is everyone's going to want to make their money but but that's the thing again you can invest in this stuff and never partake in any of it yeah so okay let's talk about that for a second so i bet by mana and i have whatever i have how many of them i have and then it's the price starts flying up and I'm like, it's you know 20, what? 20,000, like you said. Yeah, let's say it's flying up in a couple of years and it's like 20,000. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to get rid of some of this. Then what I could do, it's in my wallet right now. Uh, the, I can go to a, an exchange. When exchange obviously does what it says it is. And I can exchange that mana maybe for Bitcoin or mm-hmm. for another currency. And if I exchange it for Bitcoin, then it's, it's you know, it just exchanges that value. And then I'm probably, I'm storing Bitcoin long-term and that's how I would create this store of value that I'm continuing. It's just, you're just exchanging cryptocurrencies. What, so I know we don't necessarily get deep into these things, but yeah, because I always hear the term like market cap. What's, yeah, yeah. is there a market cap? Mar- man? Like, it, oh, yeah, I know Bit- Bitcoin's only ever going to have like 23 or 21 million 
coins yeah, yeah, yeah. minted or not minted uh, mined uh really minted created. yeah minted yeah create minted minted yeah so there's only ever going to be 21 million bitcoins in existence that's yeah. like people say that's its flaw but i mean it's they're not going to be no done that's what creates the value Exactly. It's, yeah. But anyways, yeah. but then yeah. you have these Shiba Inu where it's like, oh, we're going to make a hundred trillion coins. Yeah, yeah. And then it's yeah. like, well, now everybody, like, where's the value in that? Like, so. Well, well, they burn a bunch of them routinely. Yeah, some, some, I know, but it's like hundred. Tr- I don't know. Yeah, I know. So it, what, was your, what was your question before? It's just confusing to me. So like, mana, is there a, a mark? Is does yeah. Mana, so I guess for my, I should know these things, but market cap just means how much is ever going to be existed or is that is that a no, different so market the cap market is cap starts, stands for market capital and capital meaning the money or whatever right, you know, right, what's, right. so how much so we're in decentraland uh this mana how much capital is in the market so i'm basically how much decentraland oh okay, okay okay so okay. it's like when i purchased my amount of mana and put my money in there now the market cap went up went up because right. more people so here's right, the thing okay. more mar- mar- more market cap more market capital means that there's more interest. So like what I think is happening right now is that as towards, so it happened with um, Mana, right? Like Facebook says, we're going to make a metaverse. And people are like, what's a metaverse? Oh, wow. This is what it is. I want to get in there. So people start buying it and the market capital goes from who knows what it was a couple of weeks ago, maybe it was 10, 10 billion. And now it's at 14 billion because all that money has flowed in. Right, and what right, I've okay. done added to the market capital, but then I'll, that's also, if I have my, um, that's like adding liqui- liquidity, like yeah, to yeah. them, like you know, people work in, yeah. If if it, like if I, if I was staking it, where I'm putting it into the um, the a market pool, for people yeah. for a pool, yeah. If I'm staking it, putting it into a pool, people can now the entity that's you know providing interest on that pool. The pool is usually so that the cryptocurrency, so the blockchain can operate. You know, it yep. it needs to pay out fees and whatnot, and that that's liquidity for operations and different things like that. So that's you're also adding liquidity when you put, when you like stake something. But so, um, uh, yeah, I, I should have done, like once you start okay, explaining listen. it, I'm like, okay, I, I mean, yeah, yeah. Here's the thing: I, I know it, I, but I I didn't even. I think research about it. these topics on a regular basis. Like you don't even want to know. I looked up, but here's the thing about mana: the the circulating supply for mana is zero, and I'm like literally, I'm like, why is the circulating supply zero? But I guess because it's not a typical. It's a it's a in metaverse um yeah. co- currency it's not it's not being like circulated around to provide interest to some stuff to people oh, like if we yeah. if we were talking if we had litecoin or whatever or any other coin where people will borrow and stake like Car- cardano there's going to yeah. be a circulating supply of maybe whatever i could probably check right now but mana like no that's going straight into my account for me to use as my whatever they're not just right. having mana out there and giving interest on it yeah, so I think that's that's something that's that's the difference between you buying a token for a metaverse versus yeah. buying like a regular token that you can use anywhere. So, yeah. Anyways, okay. Holy, I can't believe we're still on this question. What else did I buy? I, I, bought, Mana. I, I bought AXX. I bought Dot, which is Polka Dot, and I bought Sand from Sandbox, and I also bought Matic, which is the the ticker or the symbol for Polygon. Right. Yeah. That's a and, lot that you got into. Well. You I bought a dino week? savior. There's my week. <laughs> what's it, wait, what's the dino saver? So the, is that an NFT? It's yeah, it's it's on um it's crypto dinos on Cardano. Oh yeah. They had uh they gave out vouchers. So I was an early adopter to the project. So I think Mr. Burn well Burns, Burns was one as well, but he had ended up leaving the Discord, so he lost that that tag. Um but I, I stuck around. I'm still in the server. So I got an early adopter. So I got a voucher to mint. They're coming out. I think it was 10,000 uh, Dino nice. Saviors. So it's something to do. I haven't, I've been so focused on properties and unicorns, yeah. but um, it looks like the Saviors are little alien dudes that land to the oh, Dino world. Yeah. yeah. So I think it's, it's to do their play to earn game. It's like another, it's a part of the storyline. Like there's the dinosaurs that were the originals, the saviors came down and I don't know if they battle each other, they team up and battle a bad guy, but there's something to do with their play to earn game that they're coming out, that they're creating. It was like good and evil and stuff. Yeah. So, so that, that was uh, yesterday, I think was um, their, yeah, their mint. I think it's just ending now actually, but they're, so the pre-sale was a, I was a part of that, got in on that, and 
I got a Pavia through Burns. I think Burns nice. did a, a few, a big buy. So I, I've got two plots of Pavia now. And for those that are listening, for the, as a, if this is their first episode, Pavia is a metaverse on Cardano, Cardano. Cardano's blockchain. Yeah. I mean, and it's I have... being backed by a lot of um, orig- OGs of the Cardano blockchain yeah. and just getting everything. How They're the OGs of helping get Cardano to what it is. Yeah, yeah. And so, I think... Is it the first? It's the first one. It's the first metaverse for, for, for Cardano, it's Cardano right? Cardano City a, a mat- metaverse? I don't know. Uh, I mean, maybe. you're the first one to say, hey, we're a metaverse. We're selling. That's true. Land. Yeah, that's like, true. That's I don't true. know of any other. Cardano uh, City didn't actually say they were, right? Who no, they never that, gave any. We, no. I saw something on Twitter the other day. I'm like, contest winners. I was like, I didn't even know they were having a contest. So Yeah, because they're not active anywhere. Okay, I so know, relating, but anyways, relating to Polygon and Matic. Yes, we want to. One other thing I did today. Uh, so that's a lot. That's all the crypto I bought uh, this okay. week. Um, yeah, a fair amount of them. And out of that, there's, I guess, four new ones that I've added to my portfolio this week. Other new that I didn't have before. But going back to Matic and Polygon, the reason yeah. I bought Matic because I had mentioned I bought some before when I was trying to like use Matic and Polygon to like get into some DeFi stuff. Yes, yes, that, that's right. Yeah, and you didn't want but, to pull the trigger. Yeah, yeah, but also. And I, I want to see. I want kind of want to see if this can jog your memory. What do you think? Well, I didn't have to use it for this, but I bought Matic because I'm like, if Matic paired up with a company that we work that we minted our domain names on. Oh, unstoppable! Yeah. Yes. So, so yes, I meant. So what did yeah, I do? They, what did I do this week then? You, 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 then yes. you minted your free domain names yes. on Matic. Yes. So. Which I did for us as well, but I was going to ask you about that actually. So I did do ours. Uh, nice. It's non fungible guys dot NFT, I believe. Yeah. yeah. So I guess because of gas fees, unstoppable mm. domains. I'm not sure. I'm just a speculation by me. Yeah. I haven't looked into it. Um, they swapped over to start minting uh, domain names on Polygon, right? Yeah. Yeah. So it was free, and the only downside is I can't manage my domain on polygon yet they don't have no. that option so it's like, you're totally I guess, right so we can't so we own it it's minted now it's in my wallet but we can't make a website with it yet correct right or, so that you're entirely right that's coming okay. soon so i minted devon crypto and devon nft which is amazing yeah. because we you know we benefited from this because laziness yeah yeah you're totally 100%, right you're actually i was right. like but we need to mint these domain names. So we got yeah. them. We bought them. Yeah. And then just laziness. But also, we didn't mint it. But also the gas fees, because the free Polygon mint wasn't a thing when we bought it. We bought it back. That's what I'm saying. Our laziness yeah, this, paid off because we, awesome. didn't end up, we didn't end up minting. And then and it ended up becoming free. The gas fees were actually cheaper back then. So we could have, yeah. we, were, we were looking, we were like, yeah, let's do it. And we're like, yeah, we'll get around to it. Honestly, God, it was like 50 bucks to mint. Yeah, it was. It totally bucks. was. Like, I think the domain cost us 40 and then yeah. it was like, oh, it's yeah, like yeah. another 25 bucks or something to mint. And just pure yeah, totally. laziness. Okay, I so it. I'll, oh, I'll hey, do a full circle. All right, for those full that are circle. Better. No, this is, this is good though. So we bought our domain on the, on the blockchain. So what we did was you buy your domain with unstoppable domains, but it's not in the blockchain yet. It's like they have it and it's saved, mm. but it's not added as a node on the blockchain. Mm. And we were just, you know, minting it, waiting. And, there's, and this is all on Ethereum's network. But... Um, Polygon is like a connector of uh, a connector blockchain and they work kind of like next to Ethereum as well. So yeah. we just minted it for free on Polygon. As Ryan yep. said, it'll come to, we, you'll be able to go back and forth and mint it on Ethereum or mint from Ethereum back to Polygon uh, in the future. And we'll also be able to connect the website to it. We'll also, can, also, so I was going through the back end. And now that I've minted it and Devon Codrington.nft and .crypto are live, once we connect it all, I will be able, that'll be my address and I can receive payments to that. Yeah, but, but also I can receive payments. I can add different wallets to it. And then as people are going to pay, I can just say which wallet I want it to go to. In the back wait, end, you- Wait a minute, the back you, end, so the back end connect, behind the scenes, you can connect the Cardano wallet to that NFC. I can NFC. connect, I, I can, I'll double check, but I can connect different addresses to that. So that I can direct to where it's going to go. Oh, sick! Right now, it's minted. But here's the thing: I guess this is so where it's a digital. Your domain is like a digital wallet. 
in a sense it will be in kind of like sense, it's like yeah. it's like a digital wallet this is weird i never thought about that because i had to in order to mint it they needed to send it they needed to attach the mint to a wallet right right which because is i use my ethereum address for ours i use yeah i use my meta and my metamask, metamask is the wallet yeah. and the metamask works on ethereum on and on polygon and a couple of different others yeah, but basically yeah so I used MetaMask as my wallet and it sent it to that. But in the future, once all the stuff is worked out, yeah. um, you, I should be able to send someone being like, hey, just send it to Devon NFT, And then I can specify, send it into my Ethereum wallet or into my Polygon wallet, or you can connect Bitcoin to it and do a different thing. But, and I should be able to connect the website and a bunch of other shit. Like I can actually make a profile that someone will be able to like go to that and see whatever I put up there. And this is Web3, and it doesn't exist Damn, on, need, a, web, need, yeah, on a website need, per se. It's like existing on the blockchain. And it's like, so I'm like, okay, if I had a picture, where, where is it being seen? Like, what platform is it on? Is it on Twitter? But it's like, you have to think beyond that. Web3 is like, it's not about the platform. It's like, it lives in the web, and you access it because you have the wallet ID or because yeah, you know. Yeah. So you Devon just go to the dot NFT and you'll see there. whatever I've dropped in there. But here's the thing. What do you type Devon Codrington.nft in? We don't really know yet. Like on Cardano, we go to pool.pm or dot whatever to, to view things. You know what I mean? To view wallets. Well, well what happens? But what would you view wallets for Ethereum um, address? Well, well, what uh, you know what's funny? We've never dealt with that. But like Joe, or you yeah. go on Twitter and all you see is like Joe FND yeah. dot ETH. Yeah. What, so that's a very, that, okay, so, so that's, I'm glad you asked that. Actually, or that reminded me. That's so Twitter now, because people are, they're like verifying the thing yeah. in social media. They're like, Hey, if you have, uh, if you can prove that you own this Ethereum wallet, we will verify it. And then Twitter will actually verify that this person owns this wallet. So once we're able to connect, poly, once Unstoppable Domains like allows the connection between Polygon and the Ethereum mainnet, I can then connect, go to Twitter and connect that. And I'll have a verified Twitter based ethereum domain name and it'll be devon codrington dot crypto and it'll be verified with twitter but it can't be verified yet because twitter only verifies ethereum wallets and right, right now and my, my polygon and all that is side chain like yeah so yeah, yeah it's polygon's okay. connector so but once we can connect the two and that connection is supposed to be happening in q1 of 2022 towards the end so maybe by march or something and here's the thing all the polygon stuff is covered by unstoppable domains but when i have to mint my devon codrington dot nft on ethereum mainnet i'm paying gas fees whatever that is right because they won't cover ethereum gas fees they'll only cover polygon stuff so if i do want that you know that verified and then it, the, I mean, in the end you kind of want i'm gonna have to do it because everyone will have to do it but now you have the option of waiting till if gas fees ever go down you yeah. have the option of selecting a gas time when it's yeah low. exactly yeah so if I, keep, if I keep an eye on yeah for anyone that's out there trying to time buying nfts on ethereum i from what i heard is like monday nights tuesday slow times for like overnights for us like monday Good eastern time right yeah eastern time it's like easter eastern time. <laughs> 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 but that's apparently the low the low tide for gas fees. I was thinking it was like 2 a.m. on Monday night. Or yeah, technically yeah. Tuesday morning is the time. Yeah, it's like that's, Monday that's midnight leading into like Wednesday early yeah. morning is like the, that kind of. Okay, interesting. Yeah. Well, I'll check that out in the spring and see if it's cheap. And if it is, and if the gas fees are like 300 bucks, I pay, I'll pay it. Because it's not like I have to, like right now I own Um, But like I have to. That's hosted by a by the like Web three like services right like the internet people right that that yeah, you um, pay a yearly service for that I have to pay every year and if I don't pay they'll be like you still want this domain if not they'll put it up for sale and anyone else can buy it so I pay yearly for DevonCoddington dot com where once I mint once yeah. on the blockchain I never go. pay again because it's in and no and there's no one that can take it away because it's locked into the blockchain. And that's it's, that's it's what attached. Three. Yeah. Well, that's blockchain technology too. It's yeah, locked yeah, exactly. into your yeah. wallet ID and everything is verified that no one else can have it because hey, it's already attached to this wallet ID. You die, yeah. it's like whatever. 
you can that's transfer true. transfer titles and stuff like that. Like yeah, that. I could sell it too, and that's the yeah, thing. of course. We bought um, so another domain that I own is hastenhustle.crypto or .nft, and we bought that on an, on Unstoppable Domains. And Hasten Hustle, I can plug whatever I want. It's mine. Uh, conference that's happening in next year. Sir Richard Branson's our speaker. So go to hastenhustle.com, buy your ticket. It's going to be a great conference. But like when we bought that crypto domain, like we bought it like I don't know, like six seven months ago. Dude, it shot up just because they can look at the traffic. I don't know how they connect it, but it's worth like forty thousand dollars now. Shut the hell up! Are you I'm not even joking. We went to look at the value of the asset, and the our crypto domain is worth forty k. And that was that was months ago. Just because there's a lot tied to the to the brand to Hasten Hustle, right? Damn, so I need to go mint my own name again. Mint your name, I man. Like, my name. I don't. I can't get my name. My name's gone already. Plus, my last name too is a st- famous steakhouse. So I. I kinda, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, totally. <laughs> I just dox myself a little bit there. <laughs> you dox yourself a little bit. Everyone's just going to look up every yeah, yeah. fucking Famous thing. steakhouses. My last name's not steakhouses in the, in the entire... <laughs> don't give them any clues. Um, but, oh, I don't... Yeah, whatever. Yeah, his last name is STK. Um, anyways, okay, so yeah. Speaking that's, of uh, SPK. That's that. Oh, no, SRK. SRK yeah, S- I know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. No, that's, that's good. That's good. Let's you also brought up nodes. So let's get... I know you got... Uh, what do you... About? You decide. Are we forking? Um, yeah, yeah, putting a <laughs> nice. fork in it. I don't know. What do you want to talk? I mean, I want to help people buy stuff. So you, you got you did your homework. So let's go with what you got. Okay. You got well, your nodes I, and- I wanted to talk. I wanted to talk wallets, and I also wanted to talk like actually when you're buying crypto, what's happening? You know, it's the same thing. It's both. It's both the same thing. Let's right. talk wallets. Let's talk okay. wallets. Okay. Okay. So we've been talking about wallets and like you know. I have it in my wallet. It's on Ethereum. It's on this and that. What the fuck are we talking about? <laughs> <laughs> I, I right? just explain it as it's an app that I use, but it's a wallet. Or, uh, I mean, we have exchanges we talk about, which is your yeah. Coinbase. And, but yeah, go ahead. There's okay, different well, wallets. So, no, no, like, okay, there are different things. Exchanges is where you exchange. Coinbase is like really popular. You can, ex- you can swap like different cryptocurrencies. But they have a wallet built into their exchange, and that's the Coinbase wallet. It's built in because right. most of them build a wallet into it. But some don't have an exchange built in, and they're just a wallet, like like uh, the one we use for Cardano. Uh, wow, why did I forget the name? Yo Roy, Yo Roy, Yo Roy. <laughs> I have a, na- a n- Nami, Nami, Nami. You have a Nami one too? Yeah, oh, I, okay. I needed. Oh, I I totally forgot. Dipbird. Yeah, I, I, I minted their. They, I got egg? an egg. Yeah, I bought nice. so the dirt bird had breeding, or they had an egg that I could incubate. Right, and then I got a derpling. So the, <laughs> the egg hatched, and I got my derpling. And again, it's just some. There's some form of <laughs> it's everything. All these NFTs have storylines now. So yeah. it's something to do with like because I had my the father in my Yoroi, and yes. the derpling egg was in my Nami or Nami yeah. or Nami. Um, mm-hmm. I have a special trait with my derpling because I own the father and the egg. You know what gotcha. I mean? Like some people, yeah, yeah, yeah. Some people They're trying to make it egg. like hereditary. They're like, there's real genetics. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So That's I forgot. I mint. I minted my my derpling over the. I should share some. I'll share. share I'll share some <laughs> photos on yeah, Twitter. Yeah, do it. Yeah, I'll drop sh- it on the. Uh, I'll on do the my NFTs. Di- yeah, Dino Saver, Savior, and uh, derpling. Anyways, wallets. Okay, cool. So wallets. Um, there are two types of well, it's so funny. Okay, there's a couple yeah, different types of wallets. How do you start wallets. this? <laughs> yeah, how do, <laughs> do we, I know like, this, this? This shit's complicated, right? Like, let's just start yeah, as it, simple as possible. What is a wallet, and what do you use it for? Go. I use it to store the crypto that I've purchased, but there's right. also, like you said, some of the wallets have the exchange built in, right. i.e., Coinbase, okay. where I buy Bitcoin off of the app, but I also store it in the wallet. Of Coinbase, but the, here's the thing: this is where it gets even more confusing because Coinbase no, 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 has a stand. Well, okay, sorry, Coinbase no, has no. a standalone a standalone wallet app too. That yeah, I can transfer so here's from the there. It's not okay. Let's let's so sorry, you're confuse wallet. it more. No, no, you, no. You 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 made you started simple, then you got pissed. You're like, but I'm confused. But you, well, you're not. <laughs> you you have it though. Okay. Like, I was like, oh, he's got it. Okay, your wallet is just like your wallet. You have money in it and use it to buy shit. Yep. There you go. Fucking Done. good podcast. Done. All right. All next right. week on non fungible goods. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I'm laughing my ass off. I can't stop. I'm sorry. All right. So now that we've gone over um, where we're going to start. Okay. So, so 
custodial versus custodial wallet. Now that we've talked you about what the wallet is. Your internet cut out there. Oh, did it? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Let's start again. Now that we know the wallet is that you put your crypto in it, you buy shit, or you just fucking receive stuff. It's just where you hold your stuff. Yeah. Let's custodial talk about the two versus types. No- custodial? Yeah. Non custodial. Nice. Okay. What's an example of a custodial wallet? It would be something like Coinbase, where you sign up, create a password, and you're on your way in a sense. It's a little more technical. Yeah. Like they know yeah. your customer KYC verification and all that stuff. But yeah, yeah. at the end of the day, um, they have all the, like, you don't have a seed phrase and stuff like yeah. that, right? So you just yeah. sign up, you have an email, you can sign in with your email and password. Pretty and much. Then, go ahead. And, and they own, they, they actually have your crypto. You actually don't even have it. When you request, when you like make a trade or whatever, you're going into their crypto and like they're saying like, yeah, this is the crypto you own. Here you go. Like right. we've been holding it for you. You know, that's the custodial wallet. Yeah. And and the non-custodial, well, I guess I'll give examples of those, like Yoroi and MetaMask. Yoroi is the custo- the, the non-custodial wallet for, for Cardano. Yep. And MetaMask is the non-custodial wallet for like uh, Ethereum and like Polygon. Yep. We talked about that earlier on. Yep. And the and difference no, there, yep. you wanna, yeah, I'll do this one. Okay. And the difference there is that you have a seed phrase, as in, um, like, and like there's a public key and a private key. And the public key is like your email address. You can give that out. You can receive emails, like whatever, no big deal. You don't care if anyone knows your email address. Right. But you would never give anyone your email password because then they could go into your email and see all your shit and delete and send and whatever. Your private key is is that. Like if I gave my private key, which is my seed phrase, to my wall to Ryan, he'd be like, You're an idiot. And he could just yeah. lock from his app, from his cell phone, he can just be like, I know Devon has a MetaMask account. I know his seed phrase. That's basically like my super, super secret password. You can he could just go in and see all my shit. So I'm not like, I'm not gonna go look. I'm gonna steal it all. Yeah, oh yeah, exactly. Sorry. Good point. Yeah. Nice. I ain't, you, oh you look at this. It's so nice. Crypto. Like I would yeah, restore no. the wallet on my phone and be like, see you later. It's gone from your exactly. wallet. And now to you've now stolen my wallet. everything I have. Yep. So That's the difference you, is yep. like a level of security that people talk about. It's like if anything happens to Coinbase or Wealth Simple or whatever, sure these platforms are insured. But you know when things happen, like the user is the last person that they're, that's taken care of. You know what yep. I mean? If they get hacked, if Coinbase gets hacked, the hackers go in there and they're like, this guy's name is Devon Codrington. This is his public key. This is his private key. Thank you. Take all his crypto. Yep. Done. Nothing I can do. And Coinbase is like, yeah, we know you had crypto and we're insured up to this much. We paid out all our rich people. You get nothing. <laughs> yeah, um, exactly. If you have a non-custodial wallet, the, you need my seed phrase. You need my you, seed phrase. Like they can that, hack the wallet all they want, but they actually can't get my crypto because it's locked with my seed phrase, and it's yeah, actually they, locked. They can the try and get in as unless you give them. I guess to restore it on someone else's phone or computer, they would have to yeah. take your seed. Like they need your seed phrase. They can't. They, they can't. They, do they were your able to yeah. social engineer and hack you and get yeah. your email and your password. I still don't think it would be enough. I no, guess they, the only way they can get it. So the seed phrase is completely essential. And the only way you can get it is um, if you have like your seed phrase, like on your phone, just like in, like, they'd have to get into your phone and like go into like your right, right, app right, right. where you have it written because, oh yeah, you know what? We didn't say what the seed phrase is. It's like it's a string. You, it's a yeah. string of 12 words randomly yeah. generated. It could be peanut, clothes, yeah. Like cloth, Bowl, like, table. Like, it doesn't. It's it, really yeah. random. It just doesn't. It doesn't. It would never come up in the English language or but, any language. It doesn't make any sense. It has to be recited or typed in in yeah. the order of what your seed phrase. So it's like number exactly. one has to be seed. Number two yeah. has to be table, and yeah. that's why they say like you cool. You can take a screenshot. What happens if your phone's done? Now you're done. Exactly. Yeah, it's you're gone. Done. Gone yeah. forever. You lose your seed phrase. You're never going to be able to recover your. So like people literally will write down their seed phrases and put it in their safe beside their, their gun. And well, like, yeah, you know I mean? there's a guy. So, so two things I want to talk about. There's, there's actually, I've heard of this. There's I, what's the guy's name? Vitalik, Vitalik, um, who like made Ethereum. Yeah. His seed, his seed phrase is on a sheet of paper yeah. because there's, this is how people, some people store it. And he has half of it with them. And the other half is like locked in a safe somewhere in Canada because he's Canadian. Hey, what up? 
So that's like, so you'll, even if you broke into his house, broke into the safe, you'll never get his full seed phrase. You'd have to go to travel to Canada then travel to us. And what I think oh. one seed phrase is like always on him or something. So you'd have oh, to wow. find out where it is and then find him, get those both sheets of paper and then put them together and be like, this is his phrase. That's a mission impossible. <laughs> so, so that's the thing. I, people store it on paper. They store yeah. it in like offline, like on a USB key. That's like cold storage. Yeah. Or they'll store it in software, which is like hot storage. But yeah, like, they, there's a hot wall. Yeah, yeah hot, hot wallet, wallet and cold wallet. Cold right? wallets. And then, yeah. And then yeah. offline, which is paper, where like, like Vitalik has. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, advantages, disadvantages. Well, security, man. Like, well, I mean, how many, how many of these apps or companies have ransomware attacks where it's like oh, we've all got the control of it? So it's like, yeah, it's cool to be able to dabble. It, the, the ease of use to buy crypto on Wealthsimple and Coinbase, yeah. which is our the two that we reference all the time. It's you don't you can use whatever you want, whatever you find. Yeah, um, those two are what we use. If they get hacked, we're screwed because, like yeah, you said, sure. they store on their back end our public and our private key. I don't yeah. have access necessarily to the private key. I guess no. my private keys. My password or no? There's no, more to like that. they, the they have keys, it all. They yeah. have it all. So have it all. a hacker your gets access in, to it they have it. Your password. Yeah, exactly. And I guess you remember? Did you hear about that kid in Hamilton that stole like forty-two million dollars? Forty-six worth of, million. Forty-six. Yeah. yeah. Did you hear how he did it? Yeah, that, and was, I was thinking of. Yeah, go ahead. He he was intercepting the two FA yeah, text message code. That sucks. Mm -hmm. With it, yeah. like, how do you intercept the text message? So, okay, so this is what so 2FA is two factor authentication. We actually mentioned that earlier on. So, keep up. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, you know, when you like try to log in and then it says, We're sending a code to your cell phone, and then it spits out a number, and then you have to type that in to log in. That's yeah. two factor authentication. But, like, this guy just had a device that, like, you'd be trying to log in, and he's just like scanning the air. And like snaps that code before it comes to your phone. He just grab intercepts that text message. And he's like, Ryan's trying to sign in. He thinks he's going to get the code, but he's like around the corner with his like device. That's an, has an, an antenna. And he yeah. just grabs your two factor authentication and pretends he's you. And then he's into your Coinbase account yeah. and he doesn't need your seed phrase. He doesn't need, he doesn't even need your cell phone. He just intercepts the message goes in and now he's into your Coinbase account and he's like sick and he just rinses it at all and moves <laughs> it to moves it to a separate wallet somewhere and of course that wallet's is non non-custodial that, of wallet's course probably like, yeah. that wallet he's running is probably not like directly connected to the blockchain without even um a wallet because we're not going to get into that today how are we doing on time i don't even know i feel like we're, this podcast we're, is super we're, long we're like yeah it's we're almost at an hour so we should probably okay well that there's other he, ways to interact with the blockchain without a wallet and that's basically having running your own little mini server called a node and putting it directly on and you can anonymize that. And that's probably what he was doing. But yeah. what's crazy. He was under 18 because he was not named because of the youth. Act. What? Are you serious? Yeah. He wasn't named. They didn't name him because of he's underage. So this is a high school kid that had like $46 million in stolen crypto. Yeah. I, I, I'm Holy assuming shit. the FBI was in on it. Like there was, it wasn't just like, Oh, the OPP did. No, it was like <laughs> FBI and everything. How it did they find this time? Guy? Uh, you know how they caught him? I think what? if I remember correctly, he bought an alias online. He bought like what like what we did with our domain name. He yeah. paid like they tracked him through the alias that he purchased. Oh my gosh. So he had like he was forming another online identity. I guess yeah, he yeah, he was he had an online identity and he had I guess purchased the identity somewhere. Maybe he had, I guess he went yeah. maybe he was unstoppable domains and that was his <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I know. Right? You know what You're I mean? Like, and but <laughs> and yeah, 46 million dollars and he was uh, under 18. Shit. Got greedy. He could have I would have stopped at 5. Right? Like, set, like yeah, man. stop at 5 and go stake pool that. You're fine. <laughs> That's amazing. Let's get terrible, that kid terrible. on this podcast. I think he's probably hard to reach. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> right? Yeah, they're like, you're so I'm young. Sure they're, they're like, I'm fun. sure they're lining up to interview that kid. Yeah, I'm All sure he also stuff. works with the FBI now or CSIS, which is- You know what? Can, How yeah. often does that happen where uh, hackers or people like that get, get arrested? And it's like, listen, you work for us now. <laughs> I know, right? And now that now that we're defining everything, every guys, uh, CSIS is the Center for Strategic and International Studies. No, that's not. <laughs> it's um, yeah, this CSIS is our like Canadian like FBI, like FBI thing, and they're like, 
our I don't know intelligence what, community. Yeah, I don't know what I don't know what this stands for. And they're pretty like C S I S. I don't. Yeah, I guess so. I, I don't know. You, you brought it up, man. You can't just throw names out there like that and be like. I, yeah, I, I, I think it's the it's basically a Canadian Security Intelligence Service. Probably that's probably what it is. I don't know. You've got a computer in front of you. Uh, Canadian yeah, Security so. Intelligence Service. Yeah. Okay. CSIS. There is, we go. Is at the forefront of Canada's national security system. Yeah. 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 So, and they have their FBI. These are public phone numbers for CSIS, and they have been spoofed. I know a girl that worked at CSIS. It was pretty cool. Um, was anyways, awesome. uh, what else? What did we talk about? Like, we talked about Wallace. I think like we've been all over the place. Versus Custodio. We talked about. I wanted to talk about trying to buy SRK to help our buddy. Uh, oh, Ed- shoot. SRK. We have, to, we have to talk about that a little bit. We got to help our boy SPK buy some SRK? Yes. I like that. That needs to be tweeted. Um, <laughs> so, full we'll disclosure. Last week, I said I was 100% going to buy SRK, um, which is Spark Point. I didn't, but there's a good reason. Um, they're actually having a Black Friday sale where if you buy, I, I think it's like a hundred, um, I don't know, it's like a hundred USD dollars worth of SRK. They'll yeah. give you back. There's a 20% cat like token back deal. So, but oh. you have to buy that after November 20, between November 29th and December 2nd. So I was thinking about it. I'm like, even if a bunch of people see this and go in and it drives the price of it up, I'm assuming that's not going to dr- drive up more than 20% in like, you know, cause I'm going to buy it right on November 29th. Right. Like I'll get it right at the beginning. Mm-hmm. So then and I'm going to buy more than a hundred dollars worth of it. So USD, it'll be like 120 something. Canadian. Okay. So yeah, that's why I'm going to wait a little bit. For anyone that wants to buy spark point, what you could do is simple terms would be buy. If you have Coinbase, go into there and buy some USDT, which is the United States. It's, one to one to the US dollar. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of exchanges or wallets or apps, whatever, however you want to describe it, that is not necessarily compatible or what's yeah. the word? What's the word? They don't support SRK. It's not on all yeah. the platforms. You know what? Here's the pause. Like, why? I don't even know why they don't. I feel like SRK is like trying to do their own thing. I'm not sure why they do, to be honest, why they don't support it though. I, I it's I guess it's po- I'll politics. Do some more politics yeah, I'll behind do some the research. scene, maybe. I don't know. I don't so, know. Okay. Anyways, get back so to S- it. Sorry for SPK, you got you're gonna download Bitmart, which I'm pretty sure he already has. So you, yeah. you got Coinbase with your USDT tokens, buy however much you want, and yeah. then you're gonna go into Bitmart and you're gonna go to uh assets and then you want to deposit. And then here you have to put what you're going to deposit. So you would just do USDT and then it gives you your address. Um, you can select your chain, but I'm pretty sure right off the bat, you're good with ERC 20. So yeah. you would just copy your wallet address there and then you'd go back into Coinbase and then you go send. And then let me just uh, coin. So you would go send. Yep. And then it would give you a list of your assets. So you would select your USDC, USDT, and then you would it would ask you there for your BitMart wallet address that you just copied. So you would paste that, and then you got to go through the how much you want to do. So if you bought four hundred dollars worth, send it all if you want, and then uh, do your password and verify and all that stuff. And then once it's sent off, you just wait. Could be an hour, could be ten minutes. Who knows? Yeah. Um, it's however long it takes to kind of get verified on the the blockchain, and then you would go back into BitMart, and eventually your assets would show up as uh, your Tether USD would be there, and then you can go to trade, and then at the top left you would put in you want to buy. What are we buying, Devon? SRK. So you would look for SRK slash USDT and it's up 8% right now. So then you got buy, sell, limit, market. So I would personally do it for, well, I think if you, if you think it's going to dip, what would you do? You, you go limit and then put in the limit, which is basically the price you want to pay. Yeah. But you don't want to go outside of that. Like that's no. the limit. Like yeah. But if like, you like, collect market, if you go market yeah. price, you're buying it at what it is currently. Yeah. And that's a pretty cool feature. That's what I like about some of the more like robust exchanges. Like you can be yeah. like, yo, if it goes higher than this, cancel it. You know, if it goes lower than this, you know, it's pretty cool. It has a little bit of automation 
yeah, to like for, make, yeah, to kind of get you the best kind of price in a, in a window of time. Yeah. So at that point, you would be buying, yeah, SRK. That doesn't seem right. What do you mean? It says it's zero. Is is it zero point zero zero four right now? That seem right. SRK. Yeah, it's pretty cheap. Hit, I thought we hit a penny. But I oh, guess let not. Me check. I don't, yeah, I know. See, it's actually pretty cheap. I um, I didn't buy it, but I was like, still like, I'm gonna wait. Yeah. Um, so, anyways, you would go to the SRK slash USDT, and then um, so you could do market price, and then how much USD you're gonna spend, and then you would just click buy, and it would just do it, and then it would show the SRK would show up in your uh, asset folder. Yeah. So basically, in once you get your USD, you're just doing a swap in BitMart for it. Yeah. Like swapping your USDT for SRK, but right now Sparkpoint price is like pretty. It's pretty cheap. It's like zero point zero zero something three of like. Yeah, I yeah, that's what it, it is. Down. It, is that the actual price? Yeah. That's Interesting. Like Sparkpoint price zero point zero zero three nine. Oh, USD. you know why? It was zero point zero zero nine like earlier. When was mm. this? Uh, but at least you know. Look at that, eh? Yeah. yeah. You're like this doesn't seem right. Market yes. correction. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, not financial advice, but this this guy's like, this is not financial advice. I'm just a dumb dumb that doesn't know anything. He sees the price. He's like, what? There's a market correction? Are we still <laughs> bullish? Do I buy now? Forex trade? What are the candlesticks thing? Yeah. Anyways. Yeah. Okay. Good luck, Sean. You pretty yeah. much got it. <laughs> SPK. <laughs> oh, yeah. I doxed him. God dang it. <laughs> now people are like, Sean, okay. What's the, uh, the other ones for? Right? Yeah. If you listen long enough, you'll probably find out. Okay. He'll That's be on one good, day. actually. Yeah. So I hope he's that, good. I hope he's no, he's able was, to have the confidence. He might message me and be like, "Okay, I lost you on the last part, but let's." let's you know what? See. I feel like the hardest part for him will be going into Bitmart, copying his wallet ID, and remembering that part of it, like finding his wallet address in Bitmart and remembering to copy that into Coinbase, because that's that's the probably the biggest part. Because once you're in the app, you can figure it out. But just the sending from Coinbase to Bitmart is the is the trickier part. Because yeah. imagine he copies that address wrong or copies the wrong one. Well, that's then, a, he, yeah, then he evaporates that's, his money. Yeah, that's the downside. So that's the other but thing. That's just, you, but that's all crypto, though. That's not like a special thing. Like if you're transferring, you make sure you always double check your, again, your wallet ID. That's the beauty of, uh, I guess it's the beauty of having apps like Wealth Simple, where it's like if you have no plans of ever buying and selling and transferring and doing any of that kind of stuff with crypto, bless you. Oh, I was mean, on mute. So you you muted. <laughs> I muted so you wouldn't hear my sneeze. And this my bad. Me. No, it's all good. We're leaving that. No, in. but like I'm going to read what a sneeze later and add it back in. Yeah, there you go. No, but <laughs> the beauty of the Well Simple app is that, like, if you just want to let's dabble in the crypto world, I'll buy and sell only. I don't need to move money. I don't need to move crypto. I don't need to transfer wallets. I don't need to do any of that stuff. I yeah. just want to buy Bitcoin and hold it. Buy some Cardano, hold it. Buy there's there's a bunch of cryptos on that that. Yeah, exchange sure. now. So, I mean, it's simplicity. If that's it's hard to for. it's hard to make the argue for the stuff that we do, right? Like like Ryan and I are gonna want to are gonna run a node so that we're running directly connected to the blockchain, so we don't even need wallets anymore. Like that's where we're gonna move to. But then most people are like, "Give me the easiest Apple way," and it's hard to argue to be like, "No, Sean, SPK, yeah, random person, go shout out to him." Yeah, go buy like this other wallet and this other wallet and load up your this as a stable coin and then transfer it over. Like, you know what I mean? Like just to yeah, buy this one cryptocurrency, like yeah. it's it's a lot. If you don't really, really want to do this, like that's why most people aren't darn in it. So yeah, yeah Wealth Simple is gonna Wealth Simple is gonna literally be where all the crypto is and like, you know, all those big exchanges. So I hope so, because you know what? It makes it easier just to kind of for me, it's just easier to like if it's all in one spot like if you want to dabble in that altcoin meme coin stuff like that's where you got to get into it's like okay i'm buying in this exchange i'm transferring over here because this exchange doesn't support that coin or like yeah. safe moon and shiba yeah, yeah. and like all, like that's where you can make money like you can make that quick buck like the the wall street bets yeah, Reddit you know what? Let's of... let's pause for a second. You just dropped like the biggest knowledge gem of the whole podcast. People are like, "I'm gonna buy Shiba here on Wealth Simple, or I'm gonna do this." The gains there are your traditional slow slow grow gains. 
Yeah. The real money is coming from getting into the weeds, getting into the dirt of it. Like I'm trying to like, remember a couple episodes ago, I was talking about trying to go into DeFi with a stake pool with curve and polygon. Yeah. I could barely explain it. I was like falling step by steps from like three different videos I've been watching on it. Yeah. And, but like, but those gains are like unnatural gains. Right. But right. like to get there, the infrastructure isn't set up and it's like, that's where the real money is. You're not going to make that crazy thing unless you get like a random NFT and you're like, Oh, this board ape looks cool. And you just happen to buy an NFT that skyrockets, but that's but this know. episode isn't about NFTs. It's about crypto right? today. Yeah. So I don't know. That's a, that's a good knowledge. gem. If they only listen to one thing, listen to what Ryan just said. I appreciate that. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Whatever. Build me up. And then, <laughs> After we stop recording, take me down. Tear me I down. Know, after we turn <laughs> off, I'm like, what are you doing now? Anyways, uh, yo, anything else for this week? I think the music's playing. <laughs> Is the music on? I'm, I got to make sure. Yeah, that's your, that's your line. Music's yeah, on. Yeah, I know. You just took my, God, just stepping all over my, my things. I'm excited. Um, yeah. So uh, no, you know what? I'm just, I, I just got, I'm busy doing the properties discord. I'm on the PA project assistant now. So I'm running games. And Congrats. That's pretty Thank good. Thank you, sir doing some fun stuff so um i'm just focused on that right now their their mint is now december oh my god i just drew a blank december 12th 12th that, i think 12th. that yeah that week december 12th there's been so many dates thrown out there's like 10 days left of their their uh white list to get on it um yeah i'm just doing december that. 12th that's a weekend right is it it's yeah i think it's so that I... week it's that week they go by weeks they don't give like actual or sorry, I'm I'm lying. So public mint is December twelfth, and yeah. the white list is two days before. They give us forty eight oh, hours. Shit. So it's the white list. What's the day? The day of the week. The day of the week. It's Friday, December isn't it? Twelfth is yeah, Sunday. Sunday. So the so the Friday is when the public or the the white list mint. Yeah, that's crazy. I will be. That sucks. I will be. Oh, traveling, traveling on that day. I have a trip. You get 48 hours though. The, the white okay. list, is, we get 48 hours. So, so my, va- my vacation morning is going to be dedicated. So I think Saturday morning, I'll, I'll mint Saturday morning at the hotel. That's what I'm going to do. Sounds good. And then, yeah. Uh, so yeah, I guess what we have to do. No, you'll be back in time to do another live recording. Yeah, for sure. I'll be back uh, Monday at like noon. We something. are actually, sorry. We haven't discussed what we want to do yet. I know the music's still playing, but we All are right, going to pause the music a, now. We, we are going to have a giveaway. Um, we have two whitelist spots for properties to give away. Oh, whether yeah. we do whether we have a contest with with it, I think we'll probably just. I had a, a trivia question ready. If they, but but like, I didn't we could just we yet. could just do like re, <laughs> like retweet. Yeah, we have we haven't had time. Like, you two you. We're all busy, but yeah, yeah, it's true. Um, I, I move around a lot. Full disclosure, everybody Ryan is like our stable coin, <laughs> <laughs> and I am an altcoin. I'm an altcoin that fluctuates like crazy. One week, I'm like, Yeah, I'm there, and then the next week, he's like, So, you want to come over and record an episode? I'm like, Oh, I'm Sorry, in Wyoming. I'm, I'm, in, I'm in Wyoming. You're like, When did you get there? I'm like, Ah, I was gonna tell you. And we yeah. talk like every single day, <laughs> we literally talk multiple times every day. That's and then, and I, I will literally be like, oh, I'm in Scottsdale or like, or I'm just in London, like, you know, two couple of couple of hours away. So Ryan is the stable coin and I am. Well, D- Devo coin. <laughs> yeah, there you go. So yeah, that's perfect name for it. So, but yeah, I think we have two whitelists to give away. So whether yeah. we do it on Twitter or we do some kind of fun thing with the podcast, I, I, I say we just do it. We don't really. Why don't we do one Twitter and then we can do one with a tr- trivia? Like you would have, you would have had to, because I have a couple questions from last episode that I thought were pretty cool, and it was like maybe if they answer all these questions right, and something where they, else, where do they answer us? I don't know. We can put it on uh, our Twitter and be like, you got to like, follow, and answer these questions, and then if you get the questions oh. right, plus like, follow, and retweet, and then maybe and then we'll, two... all like all of, like if you have ans- all the questions answered and you're liking and followed, like let's say like. I don't know, 40 people do that. Then we do a spin. Well, we, we did also, yeah, we could do that. And then we also gave out a code phrase in one of our episodes at the end. Did we do that already? We did throw it in there oh. and you kept it in. So oh, we yeah, have that one code. Did. So, so, so yeah, we have that, that one pass. Phrase. So we could be like the code phrase plus a couple of questions and like, da, da, da. like follow retweet. We don't know. I don't like the tagging. So we'll do like follow. No, retweet. No, that tagging gets and me. then maybe a question. And what's the code word? Yeah. 
Well, I have a question from last time. It was, uh, where does Joe volunteer? Is Ooh. that hard enough? Uh, no, because he does talk about it. I he did, we he did. does, exactly. We did jump into a conversation about it, right? We did, but it's not like where in the conversation does it happen? And we only mention it once. Yeah. Or the other so, thing was, what weird hobbies does Devon like? Because I mentioned a weird hobby. In the Joe episode? In, in, in the Joe episode. So episode so are, 12 has two that's answers. That's episode 12. So we could use that. Or we could, okay. Or we could. So which one so, of those? You want to use both or we one? Use, use both. It's two answers and a code phrase. I love how but, we, we are thinking about this on air. This is ridiculous. Hey, this, is, yeah. <laughs> this, is, this is the only time I get to talk to you one-on-one. <laughs> and the right, other time so, I've got seven kids running around. And that's trying very to true. Okay, so no. uh, officially... Yeah, we'll do a Twitter giveaway. We'll those two questions and the code phrase. I want I want like more questions. So let's let's drum up some more questions on Twitter. Okay, we'll figure it out. And then yeah, we'll from a couple of the earlier episodes because there's okay. some gems back then. And right. We were like fucking around even more. We should probably repeat those questions. Um, no, you can rewind it. Uh, what was it like? Where does Joe volunteer? What weird hobby or hobbies does Devon like? Those two questions are from episode twelve, and there's the secret phrase from episode. Don't say the episode. Good. We've got, oh, we got 12 episodes to figure it yeah. out. Go listen to them all. And no yeah, cheating yeah. on Twitter. You get banned. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You get muted. Block all these people. Yeah. All right, cool. Yeah. Answer those questions plus whatever's in Twitter and hey. whatever else we figure out. Fun. Drop that beat. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. non fungible guys. We are out. Yeah, let's end Have this. a good all night. All right, guys. <laughs> Thanks for listening. <laughs>